Hey guys, so today's tutorial is on this makeup look right here. It is just a bronzy, natural looking, natural looking smoky eye. Um, it's not too intense, which I love, but it still looks gorgeous. It's perfect daytime wear, I think. Like, I would wear this during the day and then maybe add, like, actual wing liner instead of just the little bit of eyeshadow that I did. Maybe even a pair of false lashes if you want to do that. I don't typically wear false lashes because of my glasses. They usually hit my lenses and it's kind of uncomfortable to wear them throughout the day but if you wear glasses and you also wear false lashes and you love like a certain brand or a certain type let me know in the comments below because I seriously want to like start including false lashes in my routine I just can't find any that work with wearing glasses so let me know um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this tutorial started, so if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting off with my Mini MUA and Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. I'm taking the shades Beaches and Cream and Sora and blending them into my crease using my Morphe M330 brush. Now, I realize that these are completely unnecessary shadows to need. You could definitely just use the shadows naked and buck in your crease from the Naked palette, which is what we use for this tutorial for the most part anyways. Um, and then I also used Frappe just to deepen it up, which is super similar to Buck. So you could just use those if you don't have these shades. But now I'm taking the Naked Tutorial, and I'm going to be taking the shade Toasted on my Morphe M224 flat brush. I think it's technically a concealer brush, but it's perfect to pack on shadows. And I just put that all over my lid. And then I'm taking my M4. 330 brush again to um, blend those shades out a little bit and now I'm taking Buck like I said you you really could just use this in naked and I'm using that just to add more color to my transition and then I'm taking Hustle on the M224 brush again and putting that on the outer half of my lid just felt like it needed to be a little deeper out there and then of course taking that blending brush again just blending everything out I didn't put any additional product on the brush I just needed to blur those lines and now I'm taking half naked Ha, excuse me, half baked, and I'm using the M224 brush again and placing this on the very inner portion of my lids. I just wanted a bit more of a pop of gold, which I'm trying to show off here. And then I take, first I take the M330 brush with a little bit of Sora and place that on my lower lash line just to start a transition shade down there. And then I'm using the Morphe M169 pointed, um, like, bullet brush, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure, but I used Buck on my lower lash line for that. And now I'm taking the Morphe M508 smudge brush in the shade Dark Horse and just pushing that right up against my lower lash line. This is the perfect brush to get that shadow right where you want it, but then you can still blend it out. And then I'm taking the M169 to further blend that shadow out. Excuse me. <clears throat> and then I'm putting a little bit on my upper lash line. Instead of doing any like winged liner, I just wanted to put a little shadow up there for a little more depth. And now I'm taking Half Baked again, and I'm pretty sure this is technically a lip brush, but I like to use it to highlight. And I'm putting this in the inner corner and on my lower lash line. I just felt like it needed to be a little more intense. And now I'm taking the shade Virgin and using that lip brush again to highlight my inner corner. And then I'll be taking a brush by Bedellium Tools, number 776. It's a blending brush, and I'll use it to blend out that inner corner a little bit and then highlight my brow bone. This just gives the perfect highlight where it's not too intense, but you can still see it, and it's beautiful. And now I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to take my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, I think it's what it's technically called, um, but it's basically a beauty blender, and I take that and bake my under eye, and then I also add a little bit to um, the bridge of my nose, a little bit to my chin, center of my forehead, and just underneath my contour on my jawline. Um, 
I had already set everything, but I felt like things just needed to be cleaned up a little bit because I had already had my face makeup done for a while before I did my eyes for the tutorial. So yeah. So I just went ahead and set everything and then I sat there for a few minutes and then started wiping everything off and I used my my e.l.f. small tapered brush to wipe everything off, but it doesn't matter what brush you use. And it's completely unnecessary to do this, I just felt the need to clean things up a little bit. And now I'm just using my eyelash curler to curl my lashes and that's you know, that's that. You can use whatever curler you want. I think mine is from e.l.f which means that it was only like a dollar or two dollars or something and it works I've had it for years and it's great and now I'm taking Marc Jacobs highliner gel liner pencil eyeliner pencil um highliner gel crayon is what it's technically called I just got this like mini size as um like my birthday present from Sephora this year and it's in black horror that's the color and I just used it to tight line real quick and then I took um my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara to coat my lashes of course what else would I use this is like my ride or die mascara I'm obsessed with it um and it makes my lashes look amazing since I don't wear false lashes with my glasses so yeah and then I had a bit of a flub on this eye so I kind of showed you how to fix that I got a little bit on the side of my nose and then some underneath my lashes that you could see and that the mascara on my lower lashes wouldn't cover up so I took a q-tip out of my freelance kit and just wiped everything off after it had dried so yeah nice little trick and now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara to coat my lower lashes I just prefer this one for my lower lashes because of the angle of the um the wand it just gets my lower lashes better than the Better Than Sex Mascara does and now I'm using Makeup Forever Rouge Rouge Artist, Rouge Natural Artist lipstick, I think is what it's called, in N4, and I covered myself up when I had filmed that, so I skipped it. And then I'm using my Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian just to add that gloss. And now I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, of course, and setting up all that work that we just did. And that is it. I hope you like this tutorial. I really enjoyed creating this tutorial for you. Like I said, I've been loving this makeup look lately, so I hope you enjoy it. And if you recreate it, make sure you tag me in your looks. Okay guys, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.